it works friendly with other uh, dyes and embossing folders. It certainly does. It works with it works with all of them, and and so you can use anything that you already have, and whether it's a folder or die set, and you just want to work with the plate system to get the perfect cut. Exactly. So make sure she plays she plays friendly with the other guys that are out there, <laughs> which is important. Uh, and again, you'll love it. It's just as smooth as it can be. And it sounds great, and it just works beautifully. You get super results just every time you use it. All right, come on over here with me. We got one more hour to go, and this one is not my show it's actually Anna's show um, I've known Anna for many many years and it was funny we I'd always year after year to go to this big huge like crafting convention it was called CHA and I would go past her booth and they had this massive booth there right and she was she is to this day is a rock star when it comes to stationery and crafting and quilting and sewing and all these wonderful categories and we're so thrilled to have her exclusive collections here at HSN you cannot get these kits anywhere else at traditional retail so here we go. Are you ready? I'm going to preview two things for you so you Griffinites can get an early start. The first one I love, 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 love. Slimline is one of the coolest, newest things when it comes to card making. It's taking the size of a business envelope and now making cards with it. So we've all jumped on board. It's such a cool look because it's so different than a regular card. Well, we are launching tonight. Look at how cute this is. It's called the Slimline Santa Die Set. Can you see Santa's face down here? How adorable it is. So we've stretched Santa out to be now a slimline card and you're gonna get 11 dies in this collection that will all come to you to make these adorable, adorable, clever ideas. So that's coming up and as I mentioned, you're seeing a brand new launch in our show. The next one I wanna show you is I Love Love Love. Any version of her old fashioned cards she's done, and this is kind of an homage to her dad, which I love that too, have sold out. They've been crazy wildly popular. Tonight we have two different versions to pick from. We have the Woodies, the good old station wagon, right? Or your other option is going to be the truck. And I just think this truck is so cool. I love proportionally how it looks like it's driving forward. Now, here's the story on it. You're getting all the dies to be able to create these. So in each kit, it's eight different dies. And both of these are available tonight. You've got the brand new Woodies station wagon. And we've got that fabulous truck. Look, I love the guys inside it too. Just your imagination. It could be pumpkins back there you could do so many different things you would like to but both of them are coming up in the show tonight which is pretty neat and by the way that is just a little teeny teeny look at so many cool things that are coming up in our hour with Anna Griffin all right the next one look at this okay I walked into the studio and instantly and I was walking fast because they're like all right since so you got 30 seconds get to the next studio I'm like and immediately my eye went to this and I was like oh my gosh this is stunning you're gonna make cornucopia I have never seen a designer, a maker like Anna or anyone else do anything like it. But thanks to her, we're now going to make these. And think about these on your Thanksgiving table as place settings. How cool would that be in the middle of the plate or a charger? It would be amazing. This was saved for our show. We're down to final quantities on it. Of course, you can make cards. That's even more clever. And Anna, I love this. This is just such a beautiful die cut design. Thank you. Well, you know what's so great about it is it's a it's a collaboration between my team and our customers, yours and mine, Suzanne's, right? The, the the person that's watching right now, they have they contribute to us every single day, and this was a, a customer request. And it again, just like you said about the trucks, we put the cornucopia, the basket, the die, the die design in perspective, so that when you're making an easel card, right? You're making we're making a cornucopia easel. It's going to stand at attention. It's going to sit up and people are going to take notice and what's so great is that the thanksgiving the retro thanksgiving stickers is what you're seeing in this particular project all vegetables that you can fill the cornucopia with but what we did in the die set we gave you grapes and an apple and uh, all kinds of vegetables it's even a pumpkin and the little stopper for the easel card now we give you an instruction sheet of how to create an easel card for the first time and like if we were going back Back to the people that were just looking at the Empress for the first time, this is something you're going to need. You're going to have to have the large plate set to go with the Empress to work with these dies. 
That includes the the dies from those uh, the Woody Wagon and the Christmas truck. The, it, you have to have the large plate system. Again, that's just going to extend the your ability with the machine. So what we're doing is we're taking the card is being made all at one time. And what's so fantastic is I didn't have to measure. All we're doing is folding over the basket handle. And then this little tab, it's going to fold uh, down and it's going to connect to the back of the card. So that's going to allow it to stand. Now, what's so nice about having something, I know for me, especially after having been, you know, on, on TV for so many hours today, we, you know, I don't want to measure. I don't want to have to figure it out. So I really love the die sets that make it super simple. Okay, so now we're just gonna push up and back and that's going to give us exactly what we need. We're gonna decorate this with a, a little black mat card stock. And this is fun because if you leave the adhesive, if you leave it open right here, you can actually fill the cornucopia like you would if you that's were cool. using this as a table setting. And so lots of fun with the dies and decorating. And then all, you're, all you really have to do to create the stopper for this is put something on the base of the card okay so something that's a three-dimensional sticker we've got a little turkey sticker there maybe we want to say happy thanksgiving on the base of the card however you want to decorate this this is it's so fun and so unique and i'm glad that it stopped you in your track suzanne because it really is something you would never see otherwise if we hadn't done it for hsn and continued never. on our path of innovation through cra crafting and we are constantly coming up with what's next. It, yeah, I'm telling you, I've never seen anything like it. And guys, if you, you know, do it during the fall season, if you want to use it as, I think just making these as table settings, can you imagine you have a beautiful gold charger and you've got your Thanksgiving table set and then one of these are in each and every table with someone's name on it. Like that's Pretty. a jewel worth, that's an Instagram worthy picture right there. And people are like, how did you do the corner? Oh yeah, I just made it really quick. Cool. What Anna does is she takes all the complicatedness out of doing this by yourself and makes it really easy. It's a couple of passes and it's done. So seriously, when you think about what she's showing you right there, you're getting all the little veggies. So all you're doing is taking paper, you're running it through your Empress machine, and then all of a sudden you're creating this. And then maybe you do add a separate little note or a tag or a thank you or I'm thankful for you or something. But this is paper and these dies. How simple, and it looks like a million dollars. I mean, that is Instagram-worthy table setting, or a card. Can you imagine you put this in an envelope and say, I'm so thankful for you? You know they're not throwing this away. This comes out every Thanksgiving, <laughs> they put it out somewhere on a table so everybody can see it, because it's so beautiful. But how magical is that? Now, I've got to explain this day only. This is really important. The price is good until midnight. We're at nine o'clock, so you've got two hours or these are gonna sell out during the show. It is now the lowest price we've ever offered for this kit at $29.95, plus we have three flex. And once again, because we are into a new hour, our $7.50 to ship your entire crafting order comes to a close at midnight as well. You will spend no more than $7.50 to ship all your crafting orders. I do want to clarify if you saw last hour in the Glowforge, that is a regular $7.50 charge on that. It's a little different than our crafting event, but that's okay. It's still super reduced because it's a big giant box you're getting. I just want to be really clear with you so you know that. But remember, get all of your ordering in right now. Go ahead and check all out and and then all of that extra free shipping will happen automatically, even if you shop with me and Anna at 1 a.m. or you're shopping with us right now or anytime during the day. But get all the ship shopping in before midnight because then at midnight you'll have to spend um, shipping on every single item you buy after that. And who wants to when you can get free shipping, which is pretty awesome. And again, you know, the intricacy of these, I hope everybody, and I know your Griffinites and all of us really appreciate, because this is a marvel that you can create so much perspective, dimensionality, and texture, and you're using paper, and you're using dyes. That's it. Exactly. Well, right, and we're doing it for my favorite holiday, right? My absolute fa hands down favorite holiday because gratitude is the attitude of Thanksgiving. And what's so fantastic is that you can take this idea sheet, you can plan out your papers, you can 
choose your favorite vegetables, and have a beautiful one-of-a-kind card to send to those that you love. And so with this, Suzanne, I would say this was one of my absolute favorite things we've done this year, only because of its uniqueness and how, how incredibly special the cards are that you can make. And I will let you know, we do have the extra long plates available. I think my producer, Angela, put them up on the side. So if you do, if you already have the Empress machine, or maybe you have a larger die cutting machine, if you need those extra long plates, you'll need it for this, and you will also need it for the Woody and the uh, truck that's coming up at the end of our hour. So did you guys put that up? I didn't see it. Oh, good. Thank you, guys. So we do have the plates in stock. Come on over here. Now, we're going to go from something spectacular to something wow and huge. Look at this table. This is just a delight to walk up to because you are getting the biggest card kits that Anna does each and every year. She does one collection. So she does it one time, and then when they're sold out, they're done. We have this at an incredible price tonight for as much as you get is amazing. It's a Black Friday deal, so we're down to $62.95. And of course, with a major credit card, you have three flex bays. You're choosing, do I want to do the first kit, which is called our birthday collection. And that's what you're seeing, all these beautiful pinks and the gold foiling and all the pretty floral designs. Or do you want to do the Christmas collection? Now, believe it or not, you think there's a lot on this table. We do not have everything in the kit out on this table. So if you think this is a lot, wait till you get this big, beefy, delicious decorative box home because it is absolutely jammed packed to be able to make 48, listen to that, 48 cards with the envelopes and I promise you'll even have stuff left over. So Anna, where in the world do you want to start on this? <laughs> We're having during the break, which was that cards, right? Cards, just in general, are so expensive. So for forty-eight dollars, you can get nowadays about six to seven cards. You're going to make forty-eight cards for less than a dollar fifty with this. Now. Think about that for a second. Under 500 pieces, just under 500 pieces in each box. 48 cards. That's almost one a week, right? Especially when we're thinking about the birthdays in our life, right? We know that there are birthdays coming up in October. We need to be ready. So everything is inside this box. Make the cards, put it back in the box, take them out, and they're ready to give. Now, each each one of these has been designed in our signature mix and match system where we are taking card surfaces, layers, and embellishments, and we're making the world's most beautiful three-dimensional cards. Now, the Christmas box is pink and red, such a gorgeous color combination, but on the inside, you're getting very traditional colorways and embellishments and ribbons that are pre-tied. Now, with the birthday, the color palette is just a little more muted. Of course, it's pink, it's blue, it's lavender, it's green and sage, and even peach, so you're getting all these flowers, gorgeous sentiments, and we take care of it inside and out. So meaning that each of the cards is greeted on the inside, you're receiving 3D foam adhesive inside the box, and we're not, and that's not all. Like we really start at the very beginning for you. you really we give do. you an, <laughs> an entire booklet of what it looks like to make 48 handmade cards. Okay, where this is the Christmas one. It's like a little spread of each one. You are choosing your favorite elements. And the design theme for this Christmas's box is that we have done this for many years with HSN is home for the holidays. What that means is that the, the uh, designs that are inside the box are the things that you would decorate with at home from amaryllis to beautiful plates and uh, cash pose and borders and flowers and sentiments. Everything goes together so perfectly. And look at that. 48 cards. They're five by seven. They are perfectly fine just by themselves. But the embellishing is really, we've got it down to an absolute science where we have created what we call a collage card topper. And so it looks like it's been made out of a lot of different embellishments, but it's flat as a pancake. And it even has tipped on ribbon, hand done. These go on the front of the card, and you could call it a day, Suzanne. Mm -hmm. You can do 24 of those with the collage card toppers. 
this is what the uh, adhesive comes with, right? You don't need scissors. You just need the will to sit down and, and have fun creating and connecting with people through your creativity. We make it so incredibly simple. Now, I'm gonna show you some things just from the Christmas box because this is where it's going to be a time saver. Mm -hmm. We're already at the beginning of October, right? And we're thinking, oh, oh all right, I might wanna do this over, um, I'm sorry, I'm gonna, I, want, I want you to be able to see what I'm showing you. Um, this is where, this is that home for the holidays part. Again, the, the ginger jars, the cash pose, that's where I started, there we go. We Fill it with beautiful botanicals. We have tea cups and teapots that are so easy to use, and you're, you can even use the dyes from your craft room to bring these to life. So the reason I think, like our birthday kit, it's going to be something you'll use all year round. But we're thinking about this holiday season right now. We're thinking about may your heart be light and your days be bright. Merry Christmas! You are just going to sign the back of this, put it in the envelope, and go to the post office the day after Thanksgiving. Okay, we do have a deal. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. We're all going to make cards. We're going to make a half a million Christmas cards from all these boxes, and we are going to have so much fun doing it. And Suzanne, for me, like I always have my favorite uh, card making party. That yeah. how that holiday weekend, right? So Thanksgiving is not about football for me. It's definitely <laughs> about um, card making. making the cards. Well, yes. And, and I have to, and to, to your point though, I do every Christmas now, or before, you know, I'll do it early, like in November. Um, my friends, we go to my one friend's Holly's house and every year it's become this great tradition. And I take this box with me. This is the box I take because I get her Christmas card box every year. She does it one a year, right? And I take it and we gather. Last time I did it, we probably had, I don't know, eight of us there and I spread everything out and then everybody just starts layering and you could have zero talent. You don't need to be, have a creative bone in your body to make this work because it's so well coordinated. And it's the neatest thing, think 48 cards. Everyone's gonna be able to go home with you four or five, six cards. And I'll tell you, it is one of the neatest events that I get to do because my friends have fun. They're surprised at how their cards look when they're done. We laugh, we have food, we have some toddies, but it's just a really wonderful memory and moment that you create with your family or with your friends. So try it this year. If you're like, I don't know, I don't craft much, it does not matter. Anna's brilliance on how they put it all together make it the layering so easy. And again, 48 cards, and I promise you'll have stuff left over. Now, we also have the birthday. I thought Anna made such a great point. That's 48 birthdays you're covering a year, okay? That is a lot of birthday cards. And so, by the way, now, the birthday actually is the most popular at this point, so make sure you grab it and don't forget it is one of our black friday deals deals we're just doing them early because we want you guys to get on the good stuff um also we have great embellishment packs there's actually two different sets there's the holiday set and then of course there's the birthday set if you want even more goodies you want to get the embellishment packs they have 40 or excuse me they have 270 plus embellishments on either one and we're down to final quantities so obviously you're just seeing a little sprinkling there got a couple comments i want to read leah d said and Anna, I think you'll love this. She said, what a great price point on the Cornucopia easel card die set. Yes, Leah, you're absolutely right. That was our this day only. I think it was coming in at, I shall look it up really quick if I can find it. Where did my Cornucopia? To one, no, it's actually better. Oh, we had it on sale for 36. I think we had it at $29, right? So it's 29 and some change. And that was that beautiful Cornucopia die set that we featured. It's paper and those dies and you're good to go. And maybe get the Empress while you're at it. Also, Myrna said just enjoying craft day would love to have that glow forge we featured that last hour you can find details on dot com uh, we have uh, hi Suzanne and crafting cuties so hi to all my crafting cuties we're not doing our Facebook live tonight because obviously I'm here uh, I tried to resist Sarah's watercolors we had earlier but they've been calling me all day so that's kind of cute uh, and thank you guys for your comments on Facebook all right so we're gonna talk about two different things, uh, the foil cardstock, and then we've got some great envelope liners that go back to the kits we were showing a little earlier, but foil cardstock. Whenever Anna puts these mega foil cardstock kits together, they're some of the most popular things we do all day long. And we actually have two different choices in this collection. Uh, so Anna, let's just kind of jump into it right off the bat, if you don't mind, and talk about you know why you do put these packs together and what they're getting in the packs. 
Right, so we, uh, we <laughs> once upon a time, put foil cardstock in those big Christmas and birthday kits. Well, this year, we, we took it out, but we made it so much better. <laughs> so there's an entire palette of matte foil cardstock to use with your cutting dies and embossing folders, right, just for Christmas. This is the Luxury Christmas Wishes palette, and you see that it matches the box in the pink and the red. There are two different reds. There's a, a matte red and a shiny red in that wonderful blue pink and then there's green and gold two sizes for uh the the four and a half by nine and a quarter and six by eight now the birthday version works the same way the palette matches the cards perfectly the lavender the blue the gold the pink and the green all designed in six by eight and the slimline size for your die cutting so if you love those kits that we just showed you add either one of these these to your uh, purchase and you're going to be able to add all that die cutting. We even have these dies coming up as well. And 72 pieces, guys, and it's really heavy duty and beautiful. Yeah, that's how you get the look. I'm gonna call that Anna's look because it's shiny and it's beautiful and it just adds so much luxe to whatever you're making. All right, so now I love envelope liners very, very much because they literally line the inside of the envelope and take your envelopes up to the next level. Anna, we've got three different collections. I know we have the damask, we have the floral, and we have the holiday here. So let's jump into this. We do. Now, what's so great about the mark of fine stationery, uh, that is a lined envelope. What we've done is we put together the cutest things that match those card kits, all right? So this is the Christmas version. It totally matches the patterns on the cards. They go, they're short, and they're short on purpose so that if you've ever cut an envelope liner where you cut it to go all the way to the bottom of the envelope, you cannot get it in there without wrinkling it. This is on, by design that it goes in. We've actually added the glue strip to both sides. You just wet it and seal it. It's already scored, so all you have to do is fold this with your envelope so that everything goes together. Now, the designs are, like I said, perfectly coordinated for the Christmas set. We also have a perfectly coordinated set for the birthday wishes, and you're getting the 48 that match the birthday wishes, and then there's a bonus set that in the damask, which are all our beautiful patterns in the most gorgeous, perfect palette. And it's pink, it's green, it's uh, it's lovely. Those you can use all year round. And this makes, this ultimately makes that finishing touch so perfect. If you have spent all that time making a beautiful handmade card, you've got now the perfect place to present it. It's gorgeous. And there's only 300 in each, so we're really limited. They really do finish off an envelope. It's amazing the difference when you start playing with them. You're like, oh, it's so fancy. It's so much prettier than it was. All right, so we're gonna wrap up on those guys. Uh, we have all three choices still available. Don't forget about the Lux uh, foil card. That's always just goes so quickly. And now we're moving on. Oh yeah, let me tell you what's up. Maybe you just wanna do some fall crafting. You're like, hey guys, you're pushing that Christmas. But you know what? You, for crafters, we have to start crafting now for Christmas. Uh, but if you do wanna do some fall crafting still, we have a lot of different choices on hsn.com and do check out our entire crafting assortment because it's massive. There's so many cool brands on there we don't get on the air, so check that out. Coming up next, we launched these rub-ons last night. We've got the final quantity coming up next. The only place where you can watch and shop, HSN Plus. Watch and shop more chefs.
You know what that spells for me? The top. What about love, baby? One up with these. More designers. Now I get to design for you. This is the party! Woo! More inspiration. These people are, are like family to me. Welcome to Design School. I do love that anything can happen live. To be here, I feel like it's a pinch me moment, honestly. Stream free now on all your favorite devices. holiday. Hi, and welcome to our big Craftober event. I'm Suzanne Runyon. This is one of my passions. I love sharing creativity with you, and I'm so happy to all of you who are here, and I do want to do a special shout out to Griffinites and also my crafting cuties. Hi, you guys. I'm sorry we didn't do our Facebook Live show, but I'm here on the air, so let's have some fun. All right, so Ann and I were on in the wee early hours of 1 a.m. this morning, and we launched these for the very first time, and we've already sold 1,600. I have less than 1,000 remaining, so we're pretty sure these are going to sell out. She did the most gorgeous rub-ons. And it's very tough to do really great rub-ons because most of the time they're too thin and they don't show up for diddly squat. Of course, Anna would never do that. Hers are vibrant and beautiful. And they just put that finishing touch. It's like the perfect, perfect decorations on a beautiful wedding cake. So these are brand new launch, final quantities in our show. You have two choices. This is going to be, of course, your Christmas. It's called Christmas Ephemera. And the other option option you have. This one is called our birthday. So again, it's going back to some of those other things that we showed earlier. So I can't wait, Anna, for you to show your samples on this because you did this one absolutely right. It turned out so good. Right, when you're looking at the, the birthday ones, what's so fantastic about that is that you make that visual connection between the birthday wishes card making kit, all the embellishments, and the ephemera embellishments. This is so perfect, both sets. All right, so I'm gonna show you the birthday one first. But do you see how gorgeous these things are? They're, they're new works of art, beautiful pieces of corners. You're getting multiples and mirror images, and a rough on is something that you can put on the surface of your choice. Now, what's so neat about them looking on these sheets, they're printed on what's like a wax paper, and they have a special backing and a special coating. They're a little sticky. They're tacky. And we're going to use a, a, a bone folder to rub them on, but we're going to actually have the ability to decorate the envelope, all right? That's number one. That's how they were designed, so that they become something really special for the recipient so you can decorate the flap or the front and here's something neat as well we've done an opac an opaque white on the back of each one of these when they were printed so that they show up over patterned paper solid papers gorgeous. Now, if you're like me and you're looking to decorate the insides of your cards, rub-ons are perfect for that because it looks like it came that way. The printing, it becomes one with the surface that you're you're rubbing it onto and so it doesn't scratch off. It doesn't it, I actually used it Last night, I did the rub on on my finger. It stayed, <laughs> um, which was really kind of fun. And clever. you can use this on on ribbon. You can put them on. Um, you can put it on like pattern paper, like I said. And you can even emboss it once it's been applied. So this is like an embossed card, and the rub on stayed uh, together uh, in the embossing. And here, this is really fun because it looks like that we used a rose paper, but we actually made it from scratch by working with the rub-ons. Now, I'm going to take my Empress machine. I'm going to show you a, a cute little trick, and that that's this, right? So this looks like it came this way with printed holly. We cut this off the sheet, and we um, gave us, we did that with a little scissor, and you take away that background, okay? So this goes away, and I'm going to just make that little mirror image of the corner. Now, you, I can take this bone folder or the back of a spoon and do exactly this, and then you can see where it starts to to release, but here's a fun trick. If you've got a die cutting machine, put it inside your plate system, okay? Run it through the machine without a die, okay? Just with, without any kind of surface. This is going to give you the perfect application. And I, I figured this out just from, just a, like really, look at this, you're just pulling this off. The application happens perfectly and easily and it's not going anywhere. 
So if you're starting to think about, wow, I want to, I want to make tags for Christmas. I want to, I want those rub-ons to be the star of the show. I want them to be flat. So easy to do. Hey, Miss Anna. Here, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. just one quick second. If you would love the Christmas ephemera, that's the one over here. And again, you're getting 160 images. I have, drum roll please, 450 left. If you want the birthday, remember this is year round, so that's pretty awesome too. Again, same amount. I have 500 left here. And I know we just, I mean, we literally just sold 200 that quick. So these are very, very limited and super clever. I also love to do these on photos, which is really neat. And Anna, if you don't mind, I'm gonna have my crew come in really, really tight because your idea is so darn good. This, it's gotta be super, super tight. Oh, thank you, right here. So what she did is she laid this down on a piece of just white cardstock, and then look what she did. She ran it through with an embossing folder. So now this becomes one with the card, but also takes on that almost engraved look of the embossing folder. So Anna is such a great way to use these. And I love it because they can go over layers of edges. Like this is one right. edge of a piece of paper, but it goes over the back edge as well. Right, and we teach you all kinds of techniques like that in our finishing school and our tutorials on Tuesdays. Look at this, we're gonna take a birthday card. It's already pre-printed. This came from the birthday wishes kit. All four corners have already been applied. And the best thing is that because this is just a little bit tacky, like it's a little bit sticky, um, you can do them all at once. You don't have to do them one at a time. So look at that, you can die cut Pretty. after they've been applied. You can wow. emboss after they've been applied. and it, it does give you that satisfaction of almost like printing. We're gonna let that go, there we go. So now I have a completely custom card with the things that I've made, so I'll just decorate the front. This looks like a storybook. It's it, it's the die, the die cut for the little box card oh, has wow. been, the rub-ons went on the inside. So really, we love to inspire you with the things that you, know, you might not think of. It can jump the layers. You can do all the things that you want to with this. And one of my favorite techniques is putting it on ribbon but do you see those corners they work perfectly inside the card so no matter how you like to decorate the rub-ons are a great addition to your craft room now i do want to add because you might be brand new you do not need an embossing machine to do the effect you can use the back of a spoon i use you can use a, a pencil or a, a popsicle stick or of course you can use like a uh, bone folding tool so you don't have to have a machine although the machine is such a clever idea because you just do it all at once and it makes it really flat and beautiful okay almost gone christmas is going to sell out first we've got about 250 left in christmas and we've got a little over three 300 left in the birthday, which again, all year, all flowers. Uh, so you kind of get the idea. All right, now the next one is a brand new launch and I love it because Griffinites, I know how much you love anything that Anna does new. And this is probably one of the cutest Santas I've ever seen in my entire life. You're getting a die and it's of course in the famous and very popular slim line, so long. Please remember when you're looking at this, I would use this outside edge for a ton of things way beyond the holidays. And then you get this magnificent Santa with all the accessories. It's actually an 11 piece set and it's called the Slimline Santa Die Set. New and it was saved for our show tonight. And check out the price. Anna, that's shocking. I expected this to be around 30 something, maybe over $30. So tonight at $26.95 is pretty amazing. But how stinking cute is this, okay? <laughs> it's really cute and it's a lot of fun. It, it, Santa has the, uh, the tall hat and you know, you would normally see that on a cowboy but how much fun is it on Santa? His little face is smooshed in here. He has a fancy mustache, and we even have a, a die for the mustache. Um, he's playing a drum. He's got presents, and what he is doing is really, he's beating that drum, and I think that's just adorable. You can make this Santa really any style and any colorway. Uh, that hat, the, I always joke that I'm 5'7", but I'm 5'8", with hair. And this Santa is <laughs> 10 feet tall. So here we go. We've got an, a little ornament. Oh. It, imagine this is the kind that you hang at the bottom of the tree oh, so the cats can play with it. Cute. But this, 
the slimline card becomes a gift just because Santa is peeking out from on the inside. So we have so many great ways of using this. And we even give you an idea sheet so that you can create things like what you just saw. Now this is gonna happen with that long plate system if you want this for the Empress Mini, or you can use it on the Empress machine. This is going to be the way that you map out Santa. You're gonna, you're gonna paint with paper. You're going to decide the, the mustache. You're gonna decide his, his, his um, Santa suit, his hat. Have fun with it. But with the long, long plate set, this is going to make it super easy to cut multiple dies at one time for the slim line. Now this is, we're gonna use this as the base, okay? So imagine building from the bottom up. So we have the base here. We know we're gonna put this cute little um, sparkly uh, glitter mustache back on Santa's face. And we're gonna do that by doing a little inlay technique. And so this is how fun. I agree with you about the border, the slim line border. This is universal. It's not just for Christmas. And so here we go. All right, so Santa in the gold to start and then Santa got inlaid with the striped paper from Christmas Kitsch that we had on That's earlier so today cute. and then all you do is you go back with the drumsticks on top of itself so we've given you these clues for design so that you really don't have to reinvent anything all you have to do is cut it out of multiple colors of cardstock to get that effect. And so the slimline card, this is the perfect size card for those of you that are grandparents because the little check or the money can go inside the number 10. Right, like I just loved getting Christmas cards growing up because if I would always check to see if there was any kind of money because I was ready to go <laughs> spend it, you know, on on whatever it was that my hot little hands were gonna, you know, wasn't gonna keep it. But uh, this is so much fun. It's a number ten, so that's our standard biz business envelope. And isn't this adorable with the pink? We have a, a think pink show oh, coming up really soon, cute. and we're gonna do all things for pink for Christmas. So oh. let's let's hold Great. that one out um <laughs> so fun so even the background and the border and and really if, if your favorite colors for the holidays are are lavender or blue even you see how santa just comes to life with those fun colors now one thing i will say oh, that cute. if we haven't done to show you is that i imagined that we would fold his hat down to fit on a five by seven card so if you weren't somebody that loved oh slimline yes. cards we would just pull pull it down fold it a little bit but you know at all, of, of course include the tassel but you could look we even hung a wreath on his hat so <laughs> there's so many ways so to to have fun with this okay i do i have to give you a quick update guys on the rub-ons if you wanted the christmas rub-ons and again you're getting 160 if you want the christmas ephemera we have about 100 left it's just just wanted sorry anna just want to give a quick update because unfortunately these are going to be gone well before the end of our show so um I love that idea too, because again, if you just fold it down a little bit and make it kind of wonky, that would make Santa even cuter and then it would fit in a typical size card. It certainly would. And really, you could just take a scoring tool, do it with precision, like pleat the top of the hat, and yeah. then you've got a smaller card. Even if you wanted to make something that was four by six, you could do that with this die. Okay. Uh, what's so fun is that Santa is all of two and a half inches tall. And so it's all about the hat and the, the headgear. So <laughs> we've got a lot of fun with this one little set. So I, let's make one more um, just for fun and just show you how great this is so again that bo the background works perfectly we have Santa tall long tall santa and then we this time let's give him a let's give him a black mustache all right they, when you see this in person his eyes and nose are here they're very distinct uh but they're just a little hard to see uh on on, t on tv like this all right so drumsticks drum all right let, let's let's do the drum first all right so this is going to work so perfectly with the stickers that we have coming up in the show. We've got some retro holly stickers like this, and I'm thinking that I'm missing a whole bunch of embellishments, but let's just <laughs> let's just add the sentiment Wait right a minute. there at you the top. You doing Celebr a plain a planer card is what I would do as an advanced card. <laughs> <laughs> 
I didn't hear. Sorry, Suzanne, I didn't hear you. No, I said your versioning of doing a plain card is my version of doing an advanced card. <laughs> Oh, 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 good. Okay, yeah, so that was very simple. There you go. <laughs> nice and simple. Yeah. All right. But so guys, this fun? I love it. I think it's the most charming little Santa, and we love the elongation, because that's always a surprise, and it's always really fun. And I really love the ornament idea. I thought that ornament was really adorable. All right, this is brand new. We launched it today. I think we sold, well, you can see, 423. That counter's going. Uh, you guys are loving that, so that's really awesome. Okay, now we're going to talk about this, and I love this little machine. So we showed you the Empress. That was the original machine that Anna uh, uh, created, and it's an embossing and die cut machine. It's electric. And then she decided, as a, a sister to it, a little sister, she was going to make what's called the Empress Mini. And look how cute this is. All the same details as the big guy, but again, super portable now for those smaller little projects. You get the little mini plates, so you get the entire plate system. And also, because we have an exclusive configuration, you're going to get a series of beautiful dies, and you're going to get an embossing folder that goes along with it, too. So you get the embossing folder, you're getting these gorgeous dies, and of course, you're getting the mini. Now, if I'm at home, Anna, and I'm trying to decide between the big guy the empress obviously the big gal and the baby sister which one uh, and how do i choose <laughs> well i don't know that you have to choose i think you know both have distinct uh, capabilities and purposes this one this is like a little handbag and it was designed to to uh supplement your crafting uh maybe you were crafting on the go uh it's going to have a footprint that is four inches okay so four and a four and a quarter inches wide so you're getting um you're getting a three-dimensional folder and you're getting dies that are small to fit on our our plate system and see this is how you would decide right so the big empress is a main six by eight plate system this is four and a quarter by six this is going to be for the smaller dies and things that are in your craft room that that mini santa just the, just his little body you, know, you could have cut on that plate system but we give you hope we give you a beautiful frame and there is no difference suzanne you, it's going to cut all the different materials from car stock to faux leather to even tissue paper. And if you're short on space, I think it's great. And most people do. They get the big empress for some projects and they also have this one. And this one does a lot. You'll be surprised at how many things you can cut and emboss with this because we just need those little things for a scrapbook or for a card. So you'll find this to be really handy. We have it at a Black Friday price. And of course we have three flex on it too. So take advantage of it. I don't want you guys to forget about two things. Number one, $7.50. That's what it costs to ship all of your crafting goodies today, but you want to get all your ordering done by midnight, and you don't have to wait and then order everything at once. You just keep checking out, and our systems will make sure that you spend no more than $7.50 to ship your crafts today, and that ends at midnight, so get it all in now before that goes away. Also, we have HSN credit card, and it's a good time to get it, actually, because right now we are offering you $40 off the first item that you purchase using the card. I think that's great, but really it's how Having the card and the access you have to special offers, special deals, special financing that you can't get with your old regular credit card or if you didn't have it at all. So definitely check that out and get the details on hsn.com. Okay, so this is another item that we actually launched last night as our weekly deal drop. So you're getting a special deal of $44.95. With each of these, you're getting 160 stickers and they're dimensional stickers. You're choosing whether you do the Santa collection which is so adorable because there's these really fun old-fashioned Santas and the cutest retro Santas. And then your other option is going to be the 3D Holly collection. And all of these have dimension and they're pre-stickered and they're not just the thin little wimpy pieces of paper. These are cardstock that have multiple layers so you get that famous Anna dimensionality and look when you're working with them. So Anna, do you want to start with the Santas? Because I love your new retro Santas. They make me laugh. Ha <laughs> 
started. And when we think about Santa and Christmas crafting, yeah. you know, having Santa do all these fun action things, this is action Santa. He's dropping presents. He's uh, he's actually going to be following, following behind the train and playing every single instrument. Uh, this is this is the brand new set we have. Um, oh wow, we even stuck it together there. He look at he's playing the guitar. So it comes in this adorable little folio, and you see all the fun things from decorating the tree to singing with uh, a snowman. There we, there we have him in an antique car playing an organ, and just it's just so much fun. There are ten different um, things you, you're getting. Well, I'm sorry, there's third there's twenty different ones that you're getting. The Santa sled. There's even a hot air balloon. Now with that set, you're also getting vintage ephemera Santas and fun ways that Santa speaks. Follow me to my workshop. I could use the help. And these are from much older sources that we, we make really beautiful old world things new and usable in our crafting. They're not so precious, the antiques. And what we do that in such a beautiful way. Now I'm going to put that, uh, I have too many things. This, this <laughs> holly set is also the exact thing. So this is the number one uh, embellishment set for us it, for Christmas. This is holly tipped in gold glitter and silver glitter. You see how they glisten. This is so fantastic. So there's uh, there are uh, 60 or 80 of those, sorry, 160 total. Now the retro holly, brand new, goes from everything from bells and gorgeous foil stamping to the ways in which we love to create Christmas cards, mm -hmm. right? So we think cardinals and birds and we think, you know, like even that the spray that you were showing uh, earlier, this, this is what you put on the mailbox, right? If you've got our mailbox dies, our holiday mailbox dies, you're going to hang that on that. Uh, so Great. we are always thinking about the things that you may already have, and we are d designing things so that it makes it useful for you to continue crafting with the things that you've already invested in. So here, I'm going to start with a... a <laughs> another playing card, Suzanne. And look, so <laughs> Santa, Santa's going in there, but let me just, let's just do all the ways that we can have Santa. So Santa's sleeping in a chair. He's talking on the phone. Look at this. He's got a list. He's making it twice. And then look at that. So he's saying, hello, so all cute. Santa's on one card, calling all Santa's. That to me is so fun. And, and, and it can be as simple as that as well. So so, you know, it, it's up to you if, if this is the way that you love to celebrate and you, you think, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make someone smile with my Christmas creations this year. This is the way to do it, 100%. The same thing with the holly. The designs are absolutely beautiful. And depending on, you know, the traditions of, you know, adding a wreath to the front of the card, adding, look at this, this is, Chris, this is part of Christmas wishes. Again, we've added the holly stickers to that to make it even more special. So you go from having 48 cards to making even more that's by true. adding uh, those wonderful embellishments. And it's all going to go together because that's what we do so well. For over 30 years, we have designed things with a, a gorgeous, perfect palette. And that perfect palette is what makes it all mix and match over the that decades that amazing. we've been doing this. And I want to give you perspective, guys, too. If you see just the Santa set that I love so much. I think it's so cute. The Santa set out here on my table, these are only, I counted them up, they're only 40 pieces. You're getting 160. They would cover the whole darn table. So please don't think this is all you're getting. It's actually 160 pieces versus the 40 you're seeing here. We just put a sample out. But anyway, that's what you're getting and you're just choosing, do I want the Holly collection or do I want Santa? Quite frankly, they work together beautifully. So I would, if I were at home and I could swing it with our flex pay and the shipping deal and all that, think about getting both sets. Um, because it will take maybe that uh, Christmas set that we had earlier, the big box that did 48 cards, as Anna mentioned, and really takes it to that next level because you'll be able to make a lot... 
Trust me, when you get her big Christmas card box or that birthday box, she'll make the 48 cards and I promise she'll have stuff left. So you might want to get that to kind of embellish it. Okay, now the next one I think is spectacular because what Anna's done is these wonderful series of like cars and automobiles and I'll let her tell the special story behind it. But you have your choice of two different ones and I think anybody who gets this will be so charmed and they will love this card or even I love it as place settings because they actually stand. But you have your choice of the first one's the truck and the truck is wonderful because she actually did it of course in perspective. It looks like it's zooming out uh, down the road and it's coming towards you full of all the Christmas cheer. The second choice you have which again Again, super cute. This is called the Woody Wagons. So remember the old Woody station wagons? That's this version. And again, you can fill them up and really do them any way you want. It could be a whole bunch of pumpkins and a fall theme here. It could be the family vacation over here if you'd like to. But you're getting the dies to make this happen. You create the theme that you want. So while we are featuring holiday, I want you to think about beach or surfing or Christmas or, or vacations or... Uh, I don't know, whatever, cut the tree out of the back of that one and put a bunch of pumpkins in it, right? So there's really so many things you can do with this. And I think they make great Father's Day cards as well. So Anna, I'd love you to share your inspiration for these because I think they're, it's tremendous. <laughs> Well, you know, it's, I, I have uh, really fond memories of my dad who, who passed away last year. And growing up with such a creative individual, right? He was an engineer, but he loved to restore antique cars. And what was so in inspiring to me about his legacy was how do I commemorate all of that in what I do? And so that's where we started our transportation series of easel card dies. And this is so much fun. Okay, so this is so the cool. Woody Wagon driven by the cat. <laughs> and the dogs are in the back. And so much fun. The Woody Wagon is a traditional uh, Woody Wagon where it has wood panel sides. And if you know, in the 50s, there were, they carried the surfboards to the beach with, uh, you oh, know, uh, all, Annette Funicello and Frankie Valley, And, you know, it's just so much fun. So here we have that die set. It's a standard standard cut, cut and embossed die set, meaning it doesn't have all those 3D details. But then the truck, this is actually so, uh, an ode to my grandfather. My father restored an international pickup for my granddad. It's blue. He drove around town with it, with the dog in the side. And so we thought we would give that to you for Christmas. All completely, this is not something, you know, I just want to, I want to reiterate something about our die sets is that these are, these are original works of art from my team and and just shout out to to those people that love to draw right we can bring ideas like this to life in a way that makes you as someone that loves to create with paper look like a hero right we have that look at that there's a glittered pond that the where an ice pond Cute. that that red truck is on and we've just added things from our craft room to create a scene but the truck die the front of the grill, the, the white walls for the tires, the tree all comes inside. The same thing happens for the Woody Wagon. We give you a way of being able to create all the details by just cutting multiple pieces of cardstock, inlaying those cards. Like you could, if you cut it out of the black, the brown, and the dark brown, you can make three separate cars just by using all the pieces. Does that make sense? Yes, yeah, right? absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And also, Anna, could we do just a folded card, like a traditional slimline? Yes, it is a traditional slimline card. It fits in a slimline envelope, okay. uh, number 10, and you can decorate it however you want. Oh, and look, you were right about that, Father's Day. This one looks like something I would definitely have for Father's Day. That is so adorable. And you know what's kind of fun? If you're picking up the truck too, guys, the way she's designed that, you could snip the tree out of the back of the truck. So don't think you're forced to always have the tree back there. You just snip it out once you run it through your uh, Empress machine. You're 
you're just gonna snip that out and now you could put pumpkins or it could be, you know, I don't know, hay back there or it could be a cow, I don't know, or a horse or something. So don't think that this is just, oh, I can only use it for Christmas. I like everybody to think about all the opportunities you have to use this year round. And it's just, I love it too because I know so many guys who are fascinated by cars, they love old fashioned cars. You know, it's just really, when you make something like this, everybody smiles and it's just anybody who likes old fashioned cars or cars in general, it just reminds you of just a, I don't know, maybe a simpler time with both of these designs, Anna. And I, I think it's, it is magical that you were able to capture that. And all you need is paper. Paper, these, and a die cutting machine, and boom, you've got it, which I find so amazing. <laughs> well, thank you. You know, one of the things that I think when I'm working on a new die design, something that's really, um, you know, innovative, we I, I always want to start with, like, what do you have to have, right? You have to have a large plate system for this. It's going to cut the card completely out at the same time. So here we've got our large plates for the Empress. It's going to not only cut the card, it's going to score the top. It's going to create the flap. It's going to give you, when in one pass all the ways that this works right without having to measure and that in itself I think is is a gift right because I, I don't I don't care for the dies the sets that come with all these uh, instructions and ways of having to do things we make it as simple as we can possibly make it so that there's no guesswork but we do give you the instructions to put this together with each die set so I'm gonna make one really quickly so this would be the base and we would cut that out. We fold it forward and then you just put adhesive right there on that tab. Now, when when that shadow layer goes on, this one's really fun. It's been embossed. Uh, oh, this cute. looks like a station wagon I might drive. Uh, <laughs> yes. And then this is gonna go over, right? So so then we wanna decorate with the white walls and the tires, and uh, I'll only have one tire tonight. Um, this is so fun. Okay, well, we'll just, we'll just let that go. And here, we wanna take the stopper so that when the card is, uh, you push it up and back, it needs a place to stand. Now, if you're gonna decorate with this, I, I, would, I would recommend decorating with you know minimal embellishments, especially after you've cut this so many times out of all those different colors of paper. Now, this is where you, know, you, you really wanna show off the work. Maybe we wanna use those Santa stickers <laughs> in, the, in the inside oh, the, that of one of these cars. Cute. Yeah, and then the snow people, they can drive the cars too. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> also, it's really cute too. We have one that actually has pictures of some vintage guys in it. But can you imagine taking a picture, a real picture of somebody, and put them in the driver's seat? Now, that would be pretty fun. It would. It would be an actual photo card, Suzanne. What a great idea to just put a tiny little face of yes. somebody that you love right there in the in the in the dashboard of each one of these trucks and It'd cars. It'd be hilarious. And people would be like, "Oh God, you got to be kidding me! That's so cute." All right, of the two, the most popular right now is, I think, the Woody Wagon. The Christmas truck, oh, okay, fun. the Christmas truck is the most popular. And like I said, just so you remember, because many of you might be brand new, you could just snip out the tree. So now that truck becomes everything. I mean, I have friends of mine, I grew up in Ohio, I have a lot of my friends who live on farms, they work on farms, you know. I have a friend who's a pig farmer. It'd be really cute for Mindy if I put a bunch of pigs in the back of here and sent her the card, like she would totally crack up. It would be so personalized <laughs> and so much fun, but have fun with it. It could be all Christmas presents piled up back here or all birthday presents presents piled up back here or whatever just let your imagination kind of go crazy and have fun with these but again unlike anybody else Anna is just so imaginative and inventive and coming up with some of the most complicated dies so that we get to do it and make it easily that is what this is all about hard for them to do but it makes it easy on us all right so Anna well, I think thanks. am I saying what am I doing I'm sorry Oh, two mentions, Anna, before I let you go. Are we going to do the car paper? Yeah. Okay. So we have the car paper down below, and this is 48 sheets. And, Anna, it's pretty because you've got a mixture of some prints, and then you've got some solids in there. Right, we've got factory colors for authentic automobiles, and we've got a little chrome and a little black shiny matte foil to just accent whatever automobile you're making.
All right, guys, and one more thing I just want to give you a quick mention of the rub-ons because you guys love them. Let me give you the official update. We have your choice of the uh, birthday, which is all the florals, and then we also have the holiday. There's 150 left in the birthday version. And there's only 90 left in the Christmas. So again, brand new today. We just launched them and now we're down to very few. So we don't have a lot left of those. Anna, I love you so much. Thank you for joining me again today. And uh, it's been wonderful. And I love all the items you had throughout the day with us. Thank you so much. It's been an extravaganza of creativity and we've had such a great time. All right, thanks, Anna. Thanks to all the Griffinites and all of you brand new who are shopping with us as well. I am uh, gonna show you my page on hsn.com. It's actually my Facebook group. I'm so proud of this group because you guys get to post your creative ideas. Now, I'd love you guys, if you buy anything today when you get it at home, please post what you made out of it. Maybe you got that cute truck we just did and I'd love to see your final results. If you want to join our group. We're edging up on 10,500 members. I'd love to get to that before the night's over. And please join us. It's so creative. It's so fun. There's always a lot going on with our Facebook group. So go check it out for sure. All right. I'm out of here for a couple of days. Um, Miss Callie's going to wrap up our big October crafting fest tonight with two more hours. She's just around the corner. I know we have more surprises and I will see you soon. Thanks for hanging out. Love to all my crafting cuties. I'll see you guys soon. It's so fun to be inspired, isn't it? Oh my gosh. I mean, Anna Griffin, hello, larger than life. By the way, welcome in. I'm Callie Northhagen. Final two hours of the big event, as Suzanne said, and we've got the queen bee herself joining us tonight for these final two hour wrap ups. Uh, Sarah Davies is joining us from across the pond. She is an amazing person. Love her heart, her spirit, and what she has done in the world of crafting and just the creativity that she's inspired in so many of us. Look at all the press. I mean, this woman has met the queen. You know, she's really just done it all. Look at that. I mean, can you imagine? Oh, gives me tingles to just think about that moment in time. And speaking of moments in time, Sara's joining us live this moment in time. Hi, my sweetheart. You know, it is so wonderful to get to work with you, my dear.